Well met, lords and ladies, Jacob Butter speaking, and I am joined today by someone who has not been here in forever, Phoenix Diamondite. Welcome back to the channel. Hi. Absolutely brilliant. 100% impeccable intro. That's interesting. Yeah, that's exactly what Angie says. But for those that know, Angie's a character that I've asked um I've asked Maria to voice act in The Meadows of Merivale. If you haven't seen that trailer, then watch the trailer, please. I'm sick of explaining the premise of the show. Um But that, yeah, that should be that should be coming out in um a few days' time. I'll probably get that out by maybe Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm not sure. I'm in the middle of I'm in the middle of planning various different things, like, I don't know. Uh, like get sub submitting some submitting some work that's actually due over half term, and also planning my birthday and you know other things. Ha! I have no work to do apart from uh, working on my audition, but that's it. Well, jokes on you. You're invited to my birthday, so you have a commitment. Boom. Dun, anyway, dun. <laughs> moving on. Today we are going to be doing some uh, some arithmetic. Now, those of you wondering, but Jacob, what's arithmetic? Well, it's that one subject that never gets any explanation from the actual Harry Potter books, but there are articles on it that people have found, including Jonathan Carlin from Super Carlin Brothers, who this video um, is inspired by. Because I thought it would be good to bring along a fellow Harry Potter member. Well, I was going to bring two, but Leon Toxino disappeared and didn't tell us where he was going. But I thought it was going to be useful to have at least one Harry Potter fan along as besides me, obviously. Um... But they to um, come along this uh, this interesting Who exploration of ourselves. Who um, Lucy. Oh right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's true. Yes, she thinks Hufflepuff is called Hufflepuffer. I am not joking. I she hasn't watched Harry Potter though, or read Harry Potter. Well, that's probably why. <laughs> but then again. Because because apparently her parents won't allow her to watch Harry Potter because apparently it's too over age for her even though she's like over 12 and she's like 16 now and it's weird so it's, that's true she, that's true she is 16 so technically so technically yes oh yeah of course she can't be bothered for those of you who don't yeah, know I just said that. for those yeah I know I'm, I'm just repeating it because I was <laughs> kind of talking over but yes <laughs> for those of you who don't know that our friend Lucy who was in some of the mayhem sing-offs her favorite phrase in the world is I can't be bothered or rather, I can't be bothered. So, yeah. Not surprising that she hasn't seen Harry Potter. Uh, don't hold it against her. Because she may be on the channel at some point. Uh, don't send hate, please. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. I'm going to read this article now. Because I've been on this page for ages. And can look in Sony Vegas like nothing's moving. Um, future me, I'm still working. This is still, <laughs> this is still um, functional. Anyway. Um, do, which, do you want me to read, or should do it, or do you want to read this article on arithmetic? You can you can read everything. I'm, I'm just I'm just in the background. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. Actually, you know what? No, let's do what let's do what we're doing. What, what people do in class? I'll read the first paragraph, and you read the second one, and I'll read this, the third this one. This isn't this isn't college. Um, I don't care. You, you do know. <laughs> we have a we have a series called doing homework. Why would that be a concern for you? <laughs> anyway, let's see. Arithmancy is one of Hermione's favourite subjects at Hogwarts, because it is a very precise, measurable, and almost scientific method of predicting the future. It's not. A way to apply book studying to divination, not normally can something, there's something that can be learned out of books, even though there are actual books of arithmancy. Whatever. Second paragraph, please, Maria. Fun. Okay. Um... <laughs> Arithmetic is a method of divination by numbers first used by the ancient Greeks. How interesting. They assigned values to the letters in their names of c uh, combatants to the foretell, foretell, foretell the outcome of battles. Very interesting. Later in the 9th century BC, the um, Chaldeans in Arabia in brackets where our modern number um, system also comes from, practices uh, a form of arithmetic that divided their alphabet into three parts. Stop. That's a comma. Each part, <laughs> <laughs> each 
each part composed of seven letters which they um, attributed to then to to the then known seven planets. Very Half interesting. Physical, <laughs> very physical, uh, wizards still use a similar system today. All of these thousands of years later. Very interesting. All right. In Harry Potter's world, yeah. wizards can use arithmetic to help predict trends in the future. Predicting the future can be used in conjunction with other forms of magic to increase your power or chances of success. For example, if you're going to make a love potion for someone you fancy, never do this by the way, wouldn't it be helpful to know what day they're more likely to be in a receptive mood? Very interesting! Uh, whatever. Is, it, is someone's camera on or something? Um, yes, we're recording. Oh, we, you know that video we said we were going to record before you disappeared with no re for no reason? Yeah, we're doing that one. Fun fact! Voldemort's mother used a love potion. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Um. You've read the books! <laughs> what a great fact! Anyway. No, I haven't. Well, I am reading it, but I'm, but not all the books. I'm um, on book five. Wait, then how do you know? Do, then how do you know details in book six? I, 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 I watch Seamus something. Oh, um, Seamus Gorman. You watch Seamus Gorman? Yes. Yeah. That's great. I mean, to be fair, I did. I do post some of the videos in in the chat sometimes, so I'm not surprised. Anyway, we're joined now by Leon Takshina, if he hasn't disappeared again. Um, so yeah, we were learning about arithmetic. Um, so, uh, what? Well, so basically. Uh, we're not going to explain the, the whole. Basic form of arithmetic is used in the names of people you want some more information about. First, you must convert. Wait, no, he's gone. <laughs> I just checked the chat. He's gone. First, you must convert the name into a number. Each letter on the alphabet corresponds to a number, as shown as in this chart. One, yeah. two, three, four, five. Six, we, don't six, 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 we don't need to do that bit. We don't need to do that bit. We don't need to read 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 it. We don't need to read it. <sighs> yes, Harmony Granger's name corresponds to that. Great. Next, you reduce your number by adding your numbers together until you are left with where with is one digit. To reduce the numbers in Hermione's name, you get down to four. Eight plus five plus nine plus four. When working with someone's name, you can calculate three different numbers for them. Very interesting. The first called the first called the character number can be used to. <coughs> Sorry, my throat. I don't know what happened there. Can be used to find out the general personality type of the person, and is derived by using all the letters of the name, as we did above. Do you want to read the next part? The final number you can calculate for someone The second is number you can calculate for someone is their heart number. <laughs> this represents the individual's inner life and can indicate desires and fears hidden from others. You calculate it as we did above, but using only the vowels contained in their name. Hermione's heart number is four. Five plus nine plus six plus five plus one plus five equals thirty-one. Three plus one equals four. Okay, next paragraph. <laughs> okay, you were going to read this one, so go ahead. Uh, okay. The final number you can calculate for someone is the social number, and it's calculated using only the uh, con what the consonants of the name. Yeah. The social number represents the outer personality, the face and um, <coughs> the face uh, individual. Oh right, the face that individual shows to the outside world. Hermione's social number is nine. Eight plus nine plus four plus five plus seven plus nine plus five plus seven. I did not say three. So plus equals nine. Done. Anyway. Just, Almost. just Almost so, just so people, what? <laughs> 4 plus 2 equals 41. Did I hear that correctly? <laughs> uh, I, I was supposed to say 42, but then that wouldn't make sense either, so. Yeah. <laughs> it would make slightly more sense, because it's the same number, oh, whatever. For those who don't know, um, we're sharing sc uh, Skype screens at the moment, so... Um, so, Maria's reading may not be as clear as possible. I have no excuse, no, no, it's though. clear as possible. It's oh. Just, I'm <laughs> yeah. Consonants and individual. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, we have, a, we have a, a friend as well who 
there's always one name in a play that there, there's one word in a play that he can't pronounce. No matter what word it is, there's always something, one word that he just. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's it's different each time. Like for example, oh, one one time it was foremost, one time it was criminal. I don't know. It it varies depending oh, on whichever yeah. play. Uh, there's one there's one name that I cannot pronounce properly. Yes, we know Tituba. <laughs> Tituba. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tituba. That's it. <laughs> Tituba. <laughs> <laughs> Tituba. Tin. Tin. But <laughs> anyway. Okay. Now we can do something with the numbers where people are like, well, this number also corresponds to the kind of person or personality. Here's a chart of what's happened to the personality in the number of me. But it's the charts and the arithmetic you know, calculator over by in popular charts. Like, nah. Yeah, I'm not going to click on those links because I actually have yeah. them open right here. So yeah. here's the calculator <laughs> and here's the personality number. Wait, so what is the purpose of this video? Well, we are going to insert our own names and see what kind of what kind of matching combinations we have with different characters and okay. what and consult the chart of meaning to find out what kind of um what thing. So, as you are in fact the guest here, let's just put your let's just put your online name first, see what happens. Okay. Fortell. Okay, so your character number is one, your heart number is five, and social is five. Oh, that's, that's, that is quite ironic right there. Wait, I'm not that social. <laughs> well, I don't know. Let's find out what this says. Because it turns out five is the number of instability and imbalance, <laughs> indicating change and uncertainty. Fives are drawn to many things at once, but commit to none. They're adventurous, energetic, and willing to take risks. They enjoy travel and meeting new people, but may not stay in one place very long. Fives can be conceited, irresponsible, quick-tempered, and impatient. To be fair, this isn't actually your real name, so this might not this might not actually be completely accurate. Let's see if I can put your real name in here. And we're back. We've just cut part of the video. <laughs> the numbers are four, seven, and six. So let's see what it says for these ones. Like a table that rests solidly on four legs, four indicates stability and firmness. Fours enjoy hard work. They are practical, reliable, and down to earth. They prefer logic and reason to the flights of fancy. So they're kind of raving claws. <laughs> they are good at organization and getting things done. Like the cycle of the four seasons, they are also predictable. They can be stubborn, suspicious, overly practical, and prone to angry outbursts. I've never seen you have an angry outburst. The conflicts possible in two are doubled in four. Okay, so That's I'm guessing... That's not me. That says twos can it, be... It's not that... No. No, four... Uh, sorry. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't I, seem I to be. No, it, I mean, that doesn't... That doesn't completely doesn't. match you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, let's see, yeah. Six represents harmony, friendship, and family life. Six is a loyal, reliable, and loving. So Hufflepuffs. They adapt easily. They can. They do well in teaching and the arts. Yeah, okay, we're getting somewhere. But are often unsuccessful in business. They are sometimes prone to gossip and complacency. I don't think you're that prone to gossip and complacency, really. I don't know. I normally keep things to myself, so... Yes, that is very true. Let's see, so sevens are perceptive, understanding, and bright. Sevens enjoy hard work and challenges. They are often serious, scholarly, and interested in all things mysterious. Originality and imagination are more important than money and material possessions. That kind of sounds like me, actually. Sevens can be also be pessimistic, sarcastic, and insecure. Okay. Uh, seven is me. Seven is me. I don't feel like you're particularly pessimistic or sarcastic. Um, that's because I haven't been sarcastic around you. I'm normally sarcastic around a lot of people, though. I just, I'm just not that sarcastic with close friends, that's all. Okay, fair enough. To be fair, you have been sarcastic to Leon a couple of times on the chat. But then again, who hasn't? It's very easy to do. I will... Okay, so... We're going to do another cut here. I'm going to see if he gets different results when we put in Maria's full name. And we're back. We've got slightly different results this time. Um, we've got 844. 
Um, so we've kind of read four already, and we know that's not actually that accurate, but let's see what eight says. Eight indicates the possibility of great success in business, finance, and politics. Eight's a practical... Oh. <laughs> Eight's a practical, ambitious, committed, and hardworking. They can also be jealous, greedy, domineering, and powerful. Why are all of these so harsh on people? This chart just brings up the worst in everyone. Eight is said to be the most unpredictable of numbers and can indicate the pinnacle of success or the depths of failure. The potential to go either way is present from the beginning. So like any other human being on the planet then. Um, yeah, I think, we, I think we were more accurate with the first results. You know, the, um, the four, six, seven. I think that was more approximate. I think seven suits me the most. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, let's go ahead and try. Uh, let's go ahead and try my name. Um, first. Oh. Right. Yeah. Wait, so what is the purpose of this video? Well, basically to find figure out about ourselves. <laughs> okay, so when we type in my YouTube name, we've got nine, six, and three. We've read six, but let's see what three says. Three represents the idea of completeness or wholeness, as in. The threesomes, past, present, future, and mind, body, spirit. Okay. Three indicates talent, energy, and an artistic nature, humor, and social ease. <laughs> Threes are often lucky, easygoing, and highly successful, but they can also be unfocused, easily offended, and superficial. Okay. I mean, some of those I would say I have. Like, I've got an artistic nature. I like to think I'm humorous and have social ease. I definitely have social ease. Energy. <laughs> Energy, yes. Unfocused, at times, definitely. Easily offended, not really. At least not. At least not anymore. I used to be. Superficial, no. I would. I wouldn't say that was me at all. Um, what else did we have? We had nine. Represents completion and achievement to the fullest degree. Oh, I thank you. I'm flattered. As is the com as it is the complete number three expressed three times. Nines dedicate themselves to service, often as teachers, scientists, and humanitarians. I have wondered why I would like to go into teaching actually. Strongly determined, they work tirelessly and are an inspiration to others. Oh. <laughs> However, they can also be arrogant and conceited when things don't go their way. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I I'll I'll take it. I'll take that. Um, let's try my real name now. And we're back. So very creepily. My name auto completed into the calculator without typing it previously. I got three, three, and nine, so I guess that's kind of accurate as well, which means that I'm kind of compatible with my online self. I guess that represents my truthfulness to my own character. I, I am very grateful for this. Anyway, last try, I'm going to put my, my full name. Okay, we've got something very different. We've got seven, one, and six now. So, pessimistic, sarcastic, and insecure. Yeah, this one doesn't represent me that much. I feel like when we type in full names, it always comes up as something completely different to yourself. But I don't know. Let's find out what one says. This is the number of the individual. Actually, you know what? I've read all these. Do you want to read this one? Wait, what are we doing? Right, read number one, please. <laughs> oh, this is the number of the individual, the solitary unit. One are, one plus, no, ones are independent, focused, and determined. They are set to go... They, they set a goal and stick to it. They are leaders and inventors. One find it difficult to work with others and don't like to uh, take it. They don't like to take uh, orders. They can be self-centered, egotistic, and I didn't quite read that. Egotistical. Egotistical and I can't. domineering. I can't even. They are often lone. They are often loners. The prophet has spoken. <laughs> that's a new, that's a new inside joke for us, by the way. Um, started today. Um, yeah. So I'd actually, I mean, set a goal and stick to it. Yeah. Okay. Leaders and inventors. I'll, I'll take that. I realize we read this one already. I've forgotten about that one. Often loners. Well, I used to, I used to be quite lone. I guess I'm quite a loner, but you know, not really, not really anymore. But. Yeah. Anyway, lords and ladies, I feel like we learned something that is never type your full name in your arithmetic calculator because it won't come up with anything. Type in your first name and surname and you're more likely to get an actual answer. That's what I find. Moral, moral of the video, don't 
don't trust the internet. Exactly. <laughs> and on that note, thanks for wasting time of your life. And on that, <laughs> until next time, farewell. Was it